I'm really not quite sure even how it started because neither of my parents uh, were musical. Neither of them played an, an instrument. How we came in possession of a, a little upright piano, I have no idea. But they were somehow committed to have music in the family. They gave my, my older brother piano lessons. You know, those were the days when doctors as well as music teachers came to the house. While my brother had his lessons, I kind of hid in the corner and watched and listened. I think I was fascinated by it. And uh, as soon as the lesson was over and the teacher had left and my brother had gone out to the uh, schoolyard to play uh, stick ball and I kind of remember going over to the piano and, and uh, recreating his lessons, doing everything that, that uh, the teacher had asked him to do and for some reason my parents took that to be a sign that they should switch the lessons from him to me. I realized that, that my real connection to music was just that, music, and not necessarily to uh, music through being a two-handed piano player. Conducting the great orchestras can be fun, but in a way it's like driving a Bentley or a, a Rolls. You, you, know, you, you give the downbeat and then you get out of their way. Don't bother them, they know. They know what they're doing. They all have their own ways of, of functioning. I like working with young people and going through those aha moments when they when they first realize something that is truly wondrous and truly earth shattering. I still remember uh, quite clearly what it was like being very young. Uh, all the questions that I had. And that's what I encourage in, in, in my students. The teacher's obligation, I think, is not so much to pass on his or her personal prejudices, but to teach them how to learn. Because they're not going to be with a teacher all that long a time. They have to learn how to learn. What are those elements that go in making your choices, making your decisions authentic?